she ain't got no money in the bank. going on guys jack 95 gamer here and i'm back with episode 29 of atletico madrid career mode and today's episode is a massive one we've got games against barcelona and foreign and villarreal where basically our unbeaten streak as you if you didn't know already we are unbeaten in the liga still uh, if you are joining us just uh, at the end of this series yeah we're still unbeaten in the uh, la liga and this is the biggest test we're going to face right at the end of the season against barcelona and villarreal two really good sides in the spanish league and two sides that have got the quality to beat us as you can see villarreal not in the top 10 but they've definitely got a great squad, so I'm a little bit worried about that. But Barcelona, they need to win this game to try and get them in that second position ahead of Real Madrid. So, you know, there's a lot on the line for Barcelona today. Suarez, Pedro, Neymar, no Messi. Iniesta, Busquets, Rakitic, Mascherano, PK, Alba, Montoya and Bravo do make up the side. But guys, this is the second from last episode of this series. And I have to say, it's been a blast playing with Atletico. And I can't wait to see how the season does finish. Obviously, we've got that Champions Cup final. We're already, we're already La Liga champions, you know. So um, I, I think that's a great achievement in my first season. And the, the club, we, the squad we've built, you know, with the club is just incredible. You know, Matuidi's coming. You know, we, we've got we completely rebranded the team. You know, and obviously losing Godin right at the start of the season wasn't obviously what we wanted to do. It was, you know, it was a shock to everyone as the rest comes really close there to scoring. And I wasn't happy about it at all, but you know I think we've replaced really well with Laporte. We've got Ruggieri, we've got Gabriel in. We've also got Miranda, who become our captain. You know, Gabi had to leave too. Moy has been a fantastic goalkeeper for us. Timo Werner has been my most underrated sign, and I think he's been incredible along with Joel Cabell on the wings. Uh, Jovetic up front and Cavani have been okay. Antoine Griezmann has been the most shocking player this season. You know, he has just been absolutely brilliant. And I'm so happy he's been in the squad. But anyway, we're going to the half time at 0 0. And um, we're going to the second half here. Barcelona put a long throw in to find Iniesta. It falls to Pedro, who comes really close there to opening up the scoring. The game still remains at 0 0. But as you can see, Marco Royce would line up the free kick. There's a couple minutes later here, right in the danger area here. Here comes Marco Royce with the free kick off the crossbar. It would fall back to Ruggier, but they would eventually get it clear. Barcelona to find Pedro. Pedro would get out to Rakitic. Griezmann trying to close down, and he does really well there to win the ball back. Antoine Griezmann cuts inside. He gets taken down by Montoya. The referee points straight to the spot. We win yet another penalty in it this season. And Antoine Griezmann is going to step up and try and take the glory here to put us 1-0 up against Barcelona. It's Antoine Griezmann versus Bravo. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. We are 1-0 up. And of course it is by that man, Antoine Griezmann. My player of the year. My player of the series. My player. The best player I play with on my team, like I said in the previous episode. He is a career mode god. If you haven't got him in your team, guys, and you are playing... A fresh new career mode you know, with the new updated where he's a striker. My word, get him into your team right now. 25 goals in Liga BBVA. He's such a nimble player. You can play him in a 4 3 3 or a 4 3 2 1. He can play as a left forward, a left wing, and a striker. He is just brilliant, guys. As Griezmann gets onto the ball yet again, cuts inside. He's causing Barcelona all kinds of problems here. Looks to go 2 0 up, but it is blocked really well there from the Barcelona defence. It will fall back to Coque, but they would get the ball away. As Griezmann now gets in the attack again, he's really giving that Barcelona defence a really torrid time here. Here comes Antoine Griezmann, the Frenchman through on goal, gets his shot away, but he's denied by the Chilean goalkeeper Bravo here. And they would make a hash of getting the ball away there, Barcelona, but eventually they do. 85 minutes into the game now we're looking up we've got all three points settled as Joel Campbell cuts inside in the box he does really well he plays it across into Koke Koke finds Griezmann Griezmann does back he gets his shot away off the post and it is a good save there it was still full to us as Koke finds Werner Werner runs into the box here great bit of shot there off the post and on the line it crawls across we were just hoping it was going into the back of net but it didn't as we bring on Suarez and Saudi and I believe Angel Carrera Marco Reus moves out into the right midfield role but in the 90th minute Mascherano would come forward Barcelona's last chance to attack they need to get a draw, really, um, to keep a chance, any chance of life of uh, finishing in second place. The ball comes in. Jordi Alba crossed it in, and of course, it would be that man again, Lionel Messi, to score the 90th minute equaliser against us. He scored the equaliser at the new Camp, and he's done it here again at the Vince College run. I'm absolutely gutted, but seven goals in the Liga for Lionel Messi. Not the best season for him, but he's come up and popped up with an important goal in this game again against Atletico Madrid. He's done it again. But as you can see, the game does finish. We remain unbeaten, which, as like I said, is the most important thing for us. We don't care about wins anymore. Um, um, you know, it would like, be nice to win the last game of the season and obviously win the league on winning terms. But we dominated the game against Barcelona to show why we are the most informed team in the league. You know, we, we there's no doubt in my mind we're the most informed this year. Obviously, we're unbeaten. No team has done that in the Liga. 
um, this season. But as you can see, Carlo Bravo, man of the match, 8.3 rain. He kept them in the game, so he deserves the acclaim. And he was one of the best players, like I said, for FC Barcelona in that one. But we're going to the game here against Villarreal. Here's the bench. Rashi of a titch Matuidi among some of the big names on the bench that miss out on this game. Obviously, because we've got the last game of the season coming up, and obviously Chelsea. Torres, Cavani, Stark, Carrera, Thiago, Suarez, Visa, Miranda, Laporte, and Bemba, and Moya make up the side here in a 3 5 2. The formation we've played all season, but this is going to be a difficult game here against Villarreal. Obviously, they're a team that have went down, they've come back up, and they've come back stronger than ever. They've got a few youth players in like Luciano Vieto, who is just incredible. They're up to 8th place all of a sudden now, Villarreal. So, I'm looking forward to this game. I really am. They need a win. We need a We need to just stay and beat them. But Vieto and Dos Santos start up front. A really good attack there. Sani, who we let back at Villarreal, we, we ended his loan deal with us so we could get a couple more players into the club. And, you know, it's not a bad team for him. And holiday, Juan Fran comes back to play against his former club here. As Carrera gets onto the ball, he does really well with a bit of skill. Dodges the challenge. Angel Carrera is obviously a very underrated player for us this season. He's actually been at the heart of most of our attacks. As Bruin puts the ball in, he does find Thiago. He put the ball into the back of the net. But, unfortunately, the Portuguese man was offside um, when he put the ball into the box. But, as you can see, Vieto gets onto the ball here. Links up really well with Giovanni. In that to Dos, um, Dos Santos, Jonathan Dos Santos. Forced to Vieto with the shot from range. And that is an incredible goal there from Luciano Vieto. The Argentine is celebrating the goal. And if you guys remember he didn't really do that for us when he was at the QPR career mode but obviously that was before he got the upgrades you know he, he's been upgraded to a goal player now I do believe in this career mode and what a shot that is from Lucian Vieto eat your heart out six goals in the league of BBVA this season and that was special Lucian Vieto is obviously a real talent guys and I wouldn't mind getting him back in one of my future career modes but as you can see here Joel Campbell gets on oh, I mean Brim gets on the ball he does find Fernando Torres he shot his block it falls to Edison Gavani it's, shot, it's blocked again great save but Torres puts the ball in comes off the goalkeeper and we do get the equaliser a few minutes later here through Fernando Torres who adds to his goal scoring today. The man on loan from AC Milan has actually had quite a good goal scoring display this season. He's up there as probably a joint third goal scorer. I think joint second actually. He scored quite a handful of goals and I think he's really close to double figures. Um, it'll be interesting to see if he ends the season with 10 goals or not. Cavani's shot was unlucky not to go in but you know, Torres' one was even luckier uh, to find the back of the net in all honesty. But... You know, it will take it. It took two deflections, I do believe. No, it, don't. it only took one off the goalkeeper, and it completely put the players off from defending it. Eight goals this season. He's only two off getting double figures here. And like I said, he's, he's had such a great goal-scoring display. As uh, Cavani would come forward here with Fernando Torres, he would play in Bruma at the far um, wing here. Bruma crossed it all the way into the final. Cavani with a free header and a really good reflex save there from the goalkeeper would tip it over the bar. We should be 2-1 up. But again, Cavani would come on the attack. Dodges two challenges here. The Uruguay man has got a clear sight goal here. The, uh, the defender comes crashing at him, he cuts inside, surely what a change that is, it falls to Torres, plays it across goal to find Carrera, good save there, the ball does get cleared away, that my friends should be 2-1, what a defensive display there shown by Villarreal, as Vieto gets into the ball, the goal scorer would find Cherizov Cherizov gets the shot away, he shoots way over the bar there, the game's still at 1-1 and we are in real trouble here, you know, Villarreal got a real goal goal attack, you know, they got a real threat as the ball does get played into Sani there and what a story that would have been, the man that was on loan for us that we released back to Villarreal, what if, what if he would have scored there and caused us real trouble, Fernando Torres has picked up a knock here but he's continuing to play while um, we, we try to make um, substitutes but a great attack move there, Thiago would find Carrera and that should have been 2-1, that was a brilliant move but we do take off I believe Fernando Torres who's got a shoulder injury here, hopefully he doesn't miss the final because I would like to have him available. Uh, he's a great striker, and like I said, he's scored a handful of goals this season that have really helped us. But into the 81st minute here, Gerard picks up the ball, he plays it in it to Sergio. I don't know who his second name was, but he come really close there. 90th minute now, and it's a Villarreal attack. Is the unbeaten streak about to end here? It falls to Gerard. Gerard does really well here as he finds uh, Sergio Marcos. Marcos puts the ball over the top here. It falls to Gerard, and that come inches away from ending the unbeaten streak, guys. We are such lucky. We are we are so lucky there, and uh, we get let off at one. -1 one draw here against Villarreal. A point well earned by them and they probably felt like they should have got more here because they did have a really good game here. They had four shots, we had nine. We dominated, like I said, it's been a great display from us. But guys, that is going to bring an end to this episode. Tomorrow will be the last and it will be the season finale of the Atletico Madrid career mode. Will we pick up the European champ will the uh, Champions Cup? We'll have to wait and see. Sergio Mar Marcos, man of the match, really well played from him. And like I said, I'm very happy here. As you can see, Laporte is out for the last game of the season, which is unlucky for him. 
But it doesn't really matter because he's been part of this winning squad. But anyway, guys, that's going to bring an end to this episode. I'm going to leave you looking at the La Liga table. We've got one game left to see if we can remain unbeaten, become invincible, and then we can see if we can become the champions in Europe. Anyway, guys, hope you did enjoy this video. And as always, if you did enjoy the content, make sure you hit that like button. And if you're new around here, you enjoy the content, then why not subscribe, guys? I do upload Ultimate Team and Career Mode content. The West Ham Career Mode will be coming in on Wednesday for the first episode. So I hope you guys stick around and watch that and support this, that, that series at least. As always, guys, I hope you have a really nice day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.